Good morning, Tux. Good morning. How you doing, buddy? I'll be right out. We woke the thunder, but no current rain. And you look mighty comfy there. Mom's going to be back sorting Legos today. Now we'll get that out of the kitchen. I tried to get these boys to follow me. And they, they didn't listen. Then they're eating with Tux, who's allowing it. Holy moly. But it started raining a little bit right when I had to come out here. Hey, at least it's uh, not pouring. It's just spitting. Uh, if Tux isn't going to get mad at Marty, then I'm not going to move Marty. I did get Striped and Morris over to the cat hotel. And covered up the food so it doesn't get All wet. All right, you guys hold down the fort. So this is a very outer band from Fred. I was looking on the radar. Most of Fred is up into Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky. Um, but this one tail piece is coming up from Columbia, South Carolina, and I think it's going to be with us for a while. Um, it could be worse. It's not gusty. It's not really pouring. It's just raining. And... Um, yeah, we just be careful this morning. We're leaving on time, so. It's school picture day for Johnny, and he's got on his picture clothes, his well-dressed Wednesday clothes. Yeah, I'm really glad the rain's not any heavier than it is. big slow up up here um, it's a little late for me to get over what is wrong oh yeah I guess over here too uh, I don't know what's going on it looked like a car went off the road probably hydroplane it was in the ditch in front of the Chevrolet dealer and I guess the tow truck and the police they moved out of the way and we really weren't delayed more than about two minutes but we hope the person's okay surprised we can see as much of downtown as we can this morning in the rain. It's been an uneventful trip and Johnny will still be there in plenty of time to get where he needs to go before first bell. But it's required an extra level of concentration coming in in the rain this morning. Did not like how people were back there at the accident scene early on. As soon as it cleared there was one guy that well, I don't know that it was a guy. There was a very large pickup truck, though, that he kind of got angry that he couldn't get past quicker and sort of searched up. But after that, everything was quiet this morning. Hopefully it'll stay that way today. I'd like to still walk with Dawn this morning. It hasn't been thundering or lightning, although we did hear thunder early. You know, if it's just wet, we'll still go. Because I really don't have, um, I really don't have another option. I can't, I can't walk after Don's one o'clock conference call because I have to hop back in the car and I'm not really going to want to walk at three or four this afternoon either. It's too close to the walk the next morning. <laughs> so hopefully we can go. I want to. NV2500, just think. It could be electric. These trees over here on the right are part of my favorite view on the drive in all seasons. It's just a really nice stand of trees. I'm on target to be home at 820, which is what I shoot for in the morning. And the rain's pretty light right now. Hopefully it's going to stay that way. Michelle would like the spare tire cover on that uh, Jeep. Is it a Jeep? I think it's a Jeep. It looks like a Jeep. She's that much into uh, quote-unquote baby Yoda too. 
What I was going to tell you though is that, um, you know, this morning's video 1525 was ready to be released when I got up. I sent it to render at midnight. I actually got in bed at a good time. And, uh, well, maybe not considering I got up at 5.30, but better times than other nights recently. And it was all ready to go, except for it got a copyright claim. And um, that prevent me from monetizing it. And it's for a piece of music that I have the rights to use. It's uh, from the Artlist um, service that I use to get some of my, pay to get some of my music from. Um, so I decided to send it to render again and I replaced the music because it can take two to three days for them to, um, that was a hubcap on the ground. It can take two or three days for them to fix the copyright thing, um, when you supply the correct documentation and, um, that would have held up the video, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I still, um, think those, um, bots that go out there and scan for copyright music are very predatory and I'm not happy with YouTube for um, allowing it and I think if um, somebody wants to make money because they found out that you use their song whether it was on purpose or accidental that it should be a percentage of the total monetization of the video and not the entire monetization because in a 10 minute video you used 30 seconds of their music or in a 30 minute video you use two minutes of their music see it turns all of the monetization for the video over to them and then the YouTube creator doesn't get uh, doesn't get anything so it really seems seems stacked against the creator and not right but I am still going to file a dispute and provide the documentation it, uh, that particular copy of the video won't ever get published but um, you know, just to kind of let these people know not to mess with me. And I know in talking to Kyle that he sometimes has had to submit um, documentation for music on certain videos too. And um, yeah, one thing is clear, YouTube doesn't do anything fast. So, um, and getting a hold of real support is pretty hard too. I mean, you have a dispute process, but you never get to talk to anybody. And uh, yeah, so I will, I will fight it but um, I had to send a video to render again and now it'll probably be late afternoon before it's rendered and uh, some version of it other than the uh, 360 <laughs> will be out there because I really don't want to release it. If I've taken the time to shoot it and render it in 4K, I sure don't want to release it and people click on it because they're interested in the content and then they get really bad quality at 360 and YouTube is really slow about them. Um, processing the SD or HD versions. Anyway, well that would figure the whole way home. <laughs> the rain hasn't been too bad and I turn toward the house and it picks up. We'll see. I want to go walk. I want to go walk. I saw this on the way out, but I didn't really have time to stop. So let me move it out of the way now. Well, except now that my hands all dirty. <laughs> I actually got a microfiber in the car. All taken care of, see? Well, nothing the blower can't fix now. Well, you guys hold down the fort. We are expecting a big Amazon subscribe and save delivery today. It's mine, mine comes in the middle of the month, Don's comes at the end of the month. And I updated delivery instructions to say garage. Hopefully that means they're smart enough to just open the people door and set the stuff inside. Should it come while we're gone. But it's not out for delivery. Not yet anyway. Cool. Well, we're going to risk it. We're going to brave it. We're going to go for it. It's actually sort of moving to the east. Uh, we'll see. We've both got our hats on. We can handle a little rain. There's no thunder and lightning, so... Well, get her done. See, there's even a little bit of blue sky peeking through up there. <laughs> well, let's get our walk in before that humidity happens because the sun shines on all this wetness. Oh, God, please hear me. <laughs> it's like 78 degrees out here and humid enough, but not miserable. We are setting the pace again, folks. Setting the pace. Yeah, I want to. Don be needs to get some stress off. Oh. <laughs> Work it out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We saw one runner on the yep. trail with a doggy. Yep. The dog obviously didn't care about the wet puddles and the rain was just as happy as could be. 
There's a few people at the community center, I presume in the exercise room, but up here at South Park, it's quiet. I'm not gonna complain about the quiet. I'm just noting that it's quiet. We, we only passed the one person and they passed us twice, but uh, going and coming. Maybe Terrence will still come through on his bike here in a bit. We missed him a few days. He said a couple days he come late, a couple days he come early. You know, he comes when he can. Okay, this is the start of lap two. Keep it booking, keep it booking. I keep on trying to speed myself back up. Number three. So I see they put this shelter open and it flips. There's an orange shelter. I guess it probably, I guess I'm curious. It probably says reserved. Because they like to hold birthday parties and stuff over here. And then, you know, you send out invitations, come to the shelter. Not available for use reserved. Okay. And it's got a thing up top. That is totally new. And that's good. That's a good signal to people. Because you don't want to have 20 people come over there for your kid's birthday party. And then, um, you know, a whole bunch of people have taken over. That Pokemon Go day... There was birthday parties going on, two of them, and, um, you know, we, we moved tables to try to help. But I don't think anybody had it quote-unquote reserved at that time. Although I guess if they're going to allow that whole thing to be reserved, they need a second one somewhere that can't be reserved for all of the other parents just wanting to hang out. Because I, that wouldn't be very fair to come with your kid for the day to the splash pad and you can't even use the only shelter they have. The little creek that runs through here and then under the bridge, it's uh, pretty high with water right now. So just saying, this would be a horrible time for a true tropical storm or hurricane to come through. Because the ground's all saturated again, all the waterways are full. This is when we get into trouble. So please, no wind until things dry out a bit. Don says he's not dealing with wet grass. Yeah, I have to run puddles and stuff today. He's just going to walk back to Jules and drive home with me. Yeah, I'm just going to. Good plan, I think. Pass on it. Well, we actually did not end up getting rained on. So it's a good thing we went. Yeah. yeah. Although, right now, if we were a little wet, I think I'd be okay with that because it's pretty hot and humid out here. It feels like we're wet, but we're not actually getting cooling comfort from it. Let's do it back. Okay. And I can uh, get up. Yeah, so like I said, today's going to be Legos. It's not going to be nice to go do anything. And tomorrow is Guardian Angel with Michelle. We'll have from 10.30 to 1.30 a full three hours. Oh, wow. We are ready. We are ready, Freddy. Yeah, yeah we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. We're shooting for Thursday. And that way, if something comes up on Thursday, we always have Friday. I was going to say, I think that's a Tesla. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay, here we go, 6,337 steps, 54 minutes and 58 seconds, so that's 55 minutes, um, 2.94 miles, and 1,840 per mile pace, so we are a little pokey today. Oh, anything under 20 is good, and under 19 18. makes me happy, but 17 would make me ecstatic. I knew we didn't quite do that today. Yeah, we were... Well, it's, it's not every day you get to give the report with a Model 3 in the background. That's right. We met the nice driver. Her license plate is Rocket. And her husband's into SpaceX, and they have a SpaceX um, badge on the back of the car, which I've seen before. She highly recommends we go get one off of Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I really don't think Tux is unhappy with being in the hutch, and these guys seem to have conveniently taken over the platform. So this winter, there'll be heated heating pads in both locations. Um, so wherever they are, they'll be happy. And you know, if it's just Marty, if it's a sunny day, Morris and Stripe don't stay so close. And Tux is now getting up there with Marty, so. And here's my boy come to say hello to me. Hey, buddy. Hi. Well, Don helped me put all my bins back out. And some of you will appreciate that I basically put everything, well, not basically, I put everything in the exact place it was before for efficiency purposes, because I've already learned the route. <laughs> <laughs> on where things are so I've got up to three hours it's 10 o'clock I can work till one and I'm gonna see if I can't get that pile of bins off the middle of the family room floor while they're in front of the fireplace because you know Halloween and decorating will be coming up soon and that stuff will be in the way and if the parts aren't sorted I won't know where they are and I can't use them I have lots of help 
tucks out the window. <laughs> yeah, help. This bin has tons of little pieces that are all over the place. So I've been working on it 20 minutes and I've maybe done half of it. It just takes as long as it takes. Wow, that was an hour and 20 minutes to put those parts away. That was longer than I thought. Well, let me go grab the next thing that needs sorted. I'm working on this tub now. It's bigger pieces, so I'm fairly confident I can get that done quicker than the other thing, the other container. All right, I got that container done. This is basically stuff I'm not doing anything with, I think. Same for what's in here and there. So this and this is what I've got left to do. And these are not as new or clean bricks, I don't think. So it's going to be a little more hit or miss what I'm going to want to fool with. I do still need to go through it, though. I'm sure some of the minifigures and some of the parts are definitely ones I care about. Slopes, you know, stuff like that. So maybe I'll start tackling this piece. The um, stuff in this bin is much better than I thought it was. I sorted about half of it. I've got to leave to go get Johnny. No Taekwondo tonight. Easy dinner. I do have a conference call about the Blue Ridge Tesla Drive coming up in uh, September at 7 p.m. But other than that, um, I should have a little bit more time to do some sorting tonight. So... If I could just finish this and that one other tub in there, I'd be done sorting. It is quite convenient that Ruby knows to bring up the address for uh, the school when I get in the car in the afternoon. Of course, she was sort of doing that during COVID, but now that it's not COVID anymore, it's really convenient. And uh, my ETA is 217, which is just a smidge late, but not too late, not late, late. Um, so hopefully there won't be any delays on the way in. I didn't sit down the whole time, so as much as I really hated to stop, I was really out of breath and tired and ready to sit down and rest for a while and regroup. Um, I've had a cup of coffee, I had a leftover piece of steak, and, um, you know, I'm going to rest and recoup on the drive. Hopefully it won't be stressful and I'll get, actually get to do that. <laughs> Listen to my book and enjoy the sights. with all that moisture going back into the air as it dries. What little it can do. Yeah, steamy I say. I'm not going back out tonight as far as I know so I'm just gonna park Ruby again although in the summer I really don't tend to leave her out in the winter time maybe a little bit I don't think our Amazon subscribe and save three boxes has come yet so I need to leave room for the delivery person yes yes Ruby thank you looks good it's it a big pork roast we're having some broccolini with it yeah. um i got the kitchen packed back up but i'm not done i want to be done i want to be done so i can go back to building 
Uh, but like I told Don, it won't stop me from uh, buying more Legos if I see them at Guardian Angel tomorrow and they're the right Legos. Maybe I might be a smidge more selective. You know, I ain't gonna mess with no dirty Legos right now because I got, you know, got Lego, but um, yeah, I would still buy some. So I got just one bin left to go over here and then pack up the stuff. Um, this bin here needs to be sorted but it looks like there's a lot of big pieces big pieces sort really quick it's all them little tiny pieces that don't sort so fast hey buddy hey midnight here's a good boy